Happy New Year. Today is the uh, eighth day of the octave of Christmas, and we honor Mary as the mother of God. Because it falls on a Saturday, it's not a holy day of obligation, but you shouldn't run for the exit. <laughs> you're here because you love Mary, and you're here because you want to honor her and her son. Uh, this morning, we offer the holy sacrifice in the Mass for the following intentions. For the eternal happiness of the souls of Lionel Gonzalez, Adolfo and Lucia Gonzalez, Orin and Suzanne Allen, Teresita Mestas, and Oscar Orozco, who died earlier this week. We also continue to pray for Justino C. Madrid, El Hijo, uh, whose Mass of Christian Bear was here yesterday, and for Jose H. Cisneros, whose Mass of Christian Burial was yesterday in Del Norte. And for all the intentions that you bring to this sacred altar on this beautiful winter day. For me, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, as we gather today, we gather confident that God cares for us, that God loves us, and that God inspires hope in us through the Mother of God, the Blessed Virgin Mary. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Christ, have mercy. You are splendor of the Father and Word made flesh. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. And we continue to give God glory together as we say, Glory to God in the highest and on peace, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. The response oral psalm, may God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us, so may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, 
your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. May God bless us in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. From the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. So, uh, 17 years ago, when I left the San Luis Valley, at a parish west of here, there was a mother of four, and the youngest at the time um, was three. Three. And they would come to a, a Friday morning daily mass in a small chapel, and mom would whisper, to her youngest daughter, the responses. So we had a three-year-old enthusiastically saying amen, alleluia, and, and also with you then, it was before, 
and with your spirit. And so she was, she was learning the responses of the Mass. Sunday, they sat up in the balcony in the large church, but on the weekdays in the small chapel, you could hear the three-year-old responding to Mass. And I thought about that because <laughs> they were here at Mass last night. The mother and the youngest of the four, they have family here in Alamosa, so they come here normally on Saturday afternoon. And when I saw them too, I thought, this is really what Mary, the mother of God, is about. A wonderful catechist in the United States from the state of Minnesota, whose name I always forget, said that the faith is caught more than taught. The faith is caught more than taught. So th there are people who read their way into the Catholic Church. Uh, Cardinal John Henry Newman would be one of them. Um, uh, Bishop Conley of the Lincoln Diocese would be another. And I have a friend, Cody Stowe, uh, who kind of read his way into the Catholic Church. Um, they were guided by Catholic men, but basically they read their way into the church. Most of us, especially those of us who are cradle Catholics, um, are inspired by the example of faith we see in our mother, we see in our father, we see in our grandmother, our grandfather, our uncle, our aunt, our godfather, our godmother. It's some living person who is alive in faith that inspires us, inspires us. And so that's uh, probably the normal course for most of us. And so you have to think about Mary as the mother of God and what that meant. That meant that God chose the Immaculate Conception to be the mother of his only son, Jesus Christ, the second person of the Most Holy Trinity. So Mary was well prepared for that, not only through her Immaculate Conception, but the tradition tells us, tradition with a small t, tells us that Mary was presented in the temple at the age of three and received 12 years of instruction in temple school. So she would probably go home every night and learn the faith through her mother, St. Anne, her father, St. Joachim, but she would study what we call the Hebrew Bible or the Old Testament, and she would know that there were 300 different prophecies about the Messiah. Tradition with the small t again tells us that she prayed that she would be the nursemaid of the mother of God. But in her humility, at the age of 15, again with the small t, the archangel Gabriel announced to her that she would be the mother of God. And so, though she was a young woman, she had a mature faith. Pope Francis, in his homily on today's solemnity, said that she had a mature faith because she had to face what others thought was a scandal, that she would be pregnant before she would uh, live with her husband, her betrothed, St. Joseph. And as I said, uh, on the Christmas Mass, this is why she, was, she and St. Joseph were in a cave, <laughs> a stable with animals, rather than in a room with other family members or even friends. But again, Pope Francis said that she never took these difficulties and uh, tried to escape them. She really was Catholic in that she unified those difficulties with the blessings of being a mother and the mother of the Son of God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's exactly what the Gospel reminds us of today. The tradition was to circumcise a child on the eighth day. St. John the Baptist, well, we've heard that story of his circumcision, his name, and St. Zachariah's mouth opening and giving us the canticle of Zachariah. Today, on the eighth day, Jesus is circumcised, and his name is Jesus, which means God saves. So his name and his mission are one. He came to save the world, to redeem the world. That's who Jesus is. That's what Jesus uh, does to this very day from the glory of heaven. But, but when you consider his human life, his human nature, so to speak, he is a divine person, but he also has a human nature. 
So as Mary loved and cared for him, she gave birth to hope in him. Again, that's what Pope Francis said in his homily for today's solemnity. And, and that's so true because, you know, there's two dimensions of faith. Fides que, which is the objective gift of faith that everybody is giving at the moment of baptism and nourished through all the sacraments. But there's also the subjective or personal dimension of faith, fides qua, that each person develops based on how they are trained and instructed in the faith. So as Mary was trained in the temple, in the Jewish faith, she, she gave that same training to her Jewish son, Jesus. And so he knew at a human level, at a subjective level, the history of salvation, the Bible. But he also, as a divine person, would know this because <laughs> he's the second person of the Most Holy Trinity, along with the Father and the Spirit. They inspired the sacred uh, scriptures that he learned, that he knew, all of them. So it's, it's a wondrous thing to think about Jesus' catechesis, if you will, Jesus' education and faith, and the great role that the Blessed Virgin Mary had in that. So, so what's important for us is to remember that on this day that we honor Mary, the Mother of God, that we remember Jesus' name and mission, that, that we remember uh, what we heard in the first reading, the blessing that comes when we share faith, as Mary shared faith with her son Jesus, that we are sons and daughters, heirs of that kingdom of heaven that we hear about in St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, and to treasure that, to make this a year when we grow spiritually, that we have great growth in our relationship with God. As the first and the perfect disciple of Jesus, the Blessed Virgin Mary did, and as all the saints have done throughout the ages, that we join them in this deeper and stronger communion with our blessed Lord, going through our mother and through St. Joseph and all the saints. And so that's the invitation for us. Um, so. Uh, so then today, perhaps, consider who is the seed of wisdom for you? Who is that woman or man who their personal lives gave testimony to faith that inspired the subjective faith for you? That you're here on this snowy morning, that you're here on a day that is a solemnity, but this year, because it's on a Saturday, is not a holy obligation. Yet you're here to honor Mary, the mother of God. You're here to honor her son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Grateful that Jesus' mother, Mary, is our mother, and that through her we can draw deeper and deeper into communion with her Son. Through him and the Holy Spirit, we turn to our Heavenly Father with our prayers. For the church reflected in Mary, that we may faithfully bring forth Jesus Christ in our world, let us pray to the Lord. For all peoples under Mary's care, that in, coming, in the coming year they may know peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the sick, the poor, the persecuted and abandoned ones, that they may be consoled by our mother's powerful protection, let us pray to the Lord. For all families celebrating a new year, that they may share the happiness of the family of Nazareth, let us pray to the Lord. For the souls of Leonel Gonzalez, Adolfo and Lucia Gonzalez, Oren and Suzanne Allen, Teresita Mestis, Oscar Orozco, let us pray to the Lord. We also continue to pray for uh, Justin Madrid uh, Jr. and Jose H. Cisneros of Del Norte, both of whom uh, were honored with the Mass of Christian Barrow yesterday that the Mother of God would intercede for the eternal happiness of their souls and all those names we just read. We pray to the Lord. In a moment of silence as we begin the year, calendar year 2022, that we may grow in deeper union to Jesus through Mary for all the intentions in our hearts. Through the sacred heart of Jesus, may God graciously hear us. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, you entrusted your only son to Mary, his mother and our mother. May we join the shepherds in sharing the good news of the Christ child, the babe of Bethlehem, through your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. There'll be no offertory today, but at the end of Mass, we encourage each of you to take home a 2022 calendar. Thank you.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. <coughs> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Leonel Gonzalez, Adolfo and Lucia Gonzalez, Oren and Suzanne Allen, Teresita Mestas, Oscar Orozco, Justin C. Madrid, Jr., and Jose H. Cisneros of Del Norte. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles, Saint Therese of the Child, Jesus, patroness of our diocese, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The faith is caught more than taught. The mother of God did her religious duty and taught in a subjective human dimension the Son of God, faith, his Jewish faith. That same Lord uh, from the crib, that same Lord from the cross is present on this altar, offering us his body, blood, soul, and divinity. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. There we go. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy. O Lord, grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us in honoring Mary, the Mother of God, and her Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, on a snowy Saturday morning on this civic holiday as well. Thank you. Um, just a reminder, the calendars are available both in English and Spanish, so please take them home so that you can guide this year of calendar year 2022. Also suggesting that if you haven't, I know several parishioners who have benefited greatly from the Bible in the Year app by Father Michael Schmitz, and I think Dr. Jeff Cavins is helping him as well. Um, so that would be, what, probably five to seven minutes a day uh, to really get to know sacred scriptures so that you can be a teacher of the Word as the Blessed Mother Mary taught the Word incarnate, the life-giving Word, sacred scripture. So that's an encouragement, and we can start today, all of us, okay? Uh, so just encouragement for that. Tomorrow we'll have two Masses for Sunday obligation of Epiphany. That's at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. There'll be no evening Mass, as we have no class for our confirmation candidates tomorrow evening, okay? Habrá almanaques uh, calendarios para este año uh, calendario uh, de 2022. Favor de llevar uno o varias a su casa. Y mañana habrá dos misas para cumplir con la epifanía. No es el día 6, sino el domingo después del primero de, del año, que es mañana a las 8, bilingüe o a las 10 y media en inglés. Aquí tiene su casa siempre. Uh, el Señor esté, the Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Go in peace.